<laughs> oh, no. I wonder if I should do the whole video like this. Oh, that's spooky, all right. Dang, that's hella spooky. What up, everybody? Whoa, that looks great. It looks like my eyeballs. It looks like literally my eyeballs. Oh, this is sick. What up, everybody? Welcome to Nork's World Pro Tips. This is really distracting. So basically, in my DMs on Instagram, I get tons of questions like, what do I need to do to get to the next level of Kendama? Basically, it all comes down to the question. How do I get better at Kendama? So hopefully this video will help you guys learn a couple different tips on how to get better at Kendama. So the first point that I have is try to film every day. Try to film all the time. If you have a phone, a GoPro, or like many of us do that are Kendama professionals, we have a full setup, you know? I have this camera, I have another camera, I have a GoPro, which just crapped out on me, and I have my iPhone. The easiest one that you can do, and the easiest thing that you can use, is your phone. Try to figure out a way to stand your phone up onto a wall, or just like go out and film. Literally, turn the camera on and start filming tricks, because the only way that you're gonna get better is if you just keep pushing yourself. Best way to do that is through film. If you're filming yourself, you can go back, you can watch the video, you can review yourself, you can see what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, and honestly, when you're filming, you have a goal, you have an objective, you have something that you're doing it for. It's not just like session kendama in your room, which is chill, that's totally chill to do. But if you're really looking to get to that next step, then film yourself, because if you film yourself, you're pushing yourself, and if you're pushing yourself, you're gonna get to that next level. And the way that I filmed was, I had homies. We had the Kenmans crew. If you don't know what Kenmans is, please do yourself a favor, go on YouTube, start watching Kenmans videos. If you wanna see the gang, the gang mentality of Kendama, and like homies just coming together and making videos, raw videos that are sick, and doing cool ass tricks with each other, those are the videos to watch. That's what got me hyped. Filming Kendama with those guys pushed me exponentially higher. And that's like pretty much the reason why I even got sponsored through Kendama was because we kept making videos together and it was fun. Grab some homies, film. If you don't have homies to play with, like I said, put your camera up, put your phone up against a wall, uh, go on Amazon, buy a super cheap tripod, accessory for your phone so that you can just set it up push the button that's all that it takes push the button take out your kendama and start jamming because that's really what's going to push you to that next level another common problem with kendama players is that they feel like they plateau right they reach a certain level and then they can't break through that the way to break through that plateau, if you feel like you're kind of stuck and you can't get anything more than what you've been doing, you kind of feel like you're doing the same tricks, you pick up your Kendama, you're just doing the same normal, you know, go-tos, one and a half swaps, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's just a lighthouse, lighthouse flip. Um, the way to break through that is to try and learn something new, learn a different concept, uh, go out of your comfort zone, and try to learn something that usually you don't try. Easiest thing that you can do to come up with a new concept for something, especially when you feel like you've plateaued, is all the tricks that you're doing regular, try to do them inward. If you've already been doing that, great. Try to expand it in a different way, add some taps and juggles, throw it inward, you know, do whatever you need. But an easy way to do it is reverse that flip to go inward like this. You know, I was watching Zach Yord clips back in the day, and that's why I started doing inward flips. The first double inward lighthouse flip I ever did was in a Kenman's video. And that's kind of how I pushed through to that next level, was I just did things inward. It's easy, super simple way to push yourself from that plateau, is just learning some type of new concept, being uncomfortable, endless possibilities once you get out of your comfort zone. and. What tricks feel the best? The ones that you don't know how to do, the ones that you feel uncomfortable doing because you're so it's so foreign to you that once you land it, you're like, boom, baby, I'm on to the next level now. Another great tip 
for you guys to know is Christian Frazier, for example, he will go into the memo notes of his phone and he'll just write down trick ideas, maybe some sort of concept. I was just on the phone with him today and he was telling me not only do I do that, but sometimes I set up the camera and try to film some type of concept easy or write it down in a journal do whatever you need to. If you come up with some sort of trick at the top of your head that you want to do or maybe want to film, put it down somewhere because you're probably gonna forget it. Maybe, you know, you're participating in a little bit of that, you know, or that reefer. Obviously, you're gonna come up with some crazy idea that's like profound and you're gonna be like, oh my God, I need to land this. Yeah, you should probably write it down because if you're doing that, you're gonna forget probably everything that you thought of that entire day. So definitely write it down. There's so many times where I've had a trick idea and I didn't write it down and just gone. It's, it's just gone forever. Write down your tricks inside of the memo notes of your phone, uh, voice memo it, film some type of like little video of you explaining the concept that you think. Ben Harold, I'm sure that he wrote down somewhere, somewhere, somehow, of this crazy, like, spacewalky thing that he does. I'm sure he wrote that down somewhere or just tried it and filmed it and was like, huh, that'll probably work. And now it's one of his most famous tricks that he does. And he does them in so many different varieties. It's like absolutely insane. Ben Harold, I have really no words for you because you're just not from this planet, but we'll let that go. But I'm sure, I'm sure you write down some of your tricks. And if you don't, you're even crazier than I thought, bro. A lot of people in Kadama have a go-to trick after their banger. It's called the after bang, right? The after bang is the trick that they do after they do the trick that they've set out to do, right? You land your banger. You stand there, you go, you give it a second, and then you try your after bang. For a lot of people, that after bang is whirlwind. Now, sometimes you do that add-on trick just automatically when you pick up a kendama. First thing in the day, some people do whirlwind. Now, the thing that I'm trying to challenge you to do is instead of doing your go-to trick, switch that go-to trick. For a lot of people, it's whirlwind. Now, for the next week, don't do whirlwind when you pick up a kendama. Switch it up. Pick up a kendama and try to do triple J stick. Just do something different. If it's if you're not at that level yet, go from earth turn to J stick. You know, do something different. Have a different go-to trick. Back to filming tricks. I think that this is the most important thing that someone can do to get better at Kendama. The reason is, is because if you're filming a trick, you're dedicating yourself to finish this trick no matter what. If you're chilling, there's easy room to give up. Now, when you're filming, your combo might be two, three, 10 tricks long, right? What's gonna happen is while you're filming, your trick, the first trick, you're gonna get super honed at. Your second trick, you're gonna get super honed at. Your third trick in the combo, you're also gonna get super honed at because it's all leading up to the last trick of your combo. Now that last trick, you might not get to every single time, but you're doing those lead up tricks every single time and you're doing all the squats, you're doing all the work. Basically, you get better if you have a 10 piece combo, you're becoming a master at those first eight tricks of that 10 trick combo because you have to do all of that just to get to the last trick. Think about how many times you're doing those first eight tricks in that combo before you finally get to the 10th and then after you film the trick and you finally land it, those first eight steps are so automatic for you, they're so easy. That's why filming is so important because the combos that you do Everybody gets so dialed in on the first part of their combos by the end of their trick That it makes it worth it and it makes you get better and better and better because of consistency Consistency is key never giving up is key. That's what's gonna make you better. It's just 
doing combos and filming them, you're gonna get so good at the beginning part of that. By the time you finish the trick, you've already got this on lock. You've already got the first half on lock. All right, last tip that me and Nala have for you guys is to go into Sweet Skandama's YouTube, right? Are you sleeping? Sweet Skandama's YouTube. Check out the tutorials, step-by-step, -step, detailed videos of certain tricks. You're gonna get so much better at Kandama just by watching those. I highly recommend you do that. And you learn from the pros, like Cooper, Josh, Sweets. It's a good way to go to learn new tricks. And if you really wanna be a boss, you won't care where you are, who you're with, what you're doing. You bring your Kandama with you everywhere. You should never ever say, to yourself damn I wish I had my kendama with me because if you do that you're slacking bro and you're not gonna get better at kendama by just leaving your kendama at home that kendama is lonely AF and you gotta bring that thing everywhere I bring mine everywhere how do I bring it I'm looking right now I bring it on my bag baby and I got that coop strap get yourself a coop strap put it on your keys put it on your bag Put it anywhere. Bring your kanama, baby. Coop strap and kanama. Ah, uh, now I'm saying, put this on your hip. Bring your kanama with you. Put it around your neck. Who cares? You know what I mean? Lock out the haters. You want to have your kanama? Bring it everywhere with you, and don't care what anyone thinks. Because if I cared what anyone thought about me bringing around a kanama, and if anyone made fun of me, and I just quit. You think I'd be here right now telling you guys how to get better at Kendama and being able to travel the world for the past five years? No. Do what you want to do. Do what you love. And if you love Kendama, show that you love Kendama and bring it with you every goddamn place you can. You no, know I'm Shane. I've been wearing these pants. I'm not going to lie. I've been wearing these pants every day for the past week. But that's a wrap for Nork's World Pro Tips. Pro tip number one, how to get better at Kendama. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Remember, try to film every single day. Bring your kendama with you everywhere. Write down tricks inside your memos. Uh, go out of your comfort zone. And last but not least, watch Sweets Kendama's tutorials because they really do help. Peace.